Hey kids, welcome to Revive Nation's Kids, where we revive, renew, and restore me and you. Welcome to episode two. Oh, you missed episode one, eh? All you need to do is go back and watch that video. Go see it. It's all about what happens when people choose their ways over God's ways. Come on, we're gonna continue that. Let's watch it. Hi, King David. We need to have a conversation. Oh, what a fortunate day. Thank you, Lord, for sending your prophet mm -hmm. Nathan to me. Come, let's talk. What do you have to tell me? We need to talk about this whole Bathsheba situation. Bathsheba situation? There's no situation. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You forgot the part that she had a husband, huh? And you got him killed. Well, uh, the heart wants what mm. it wants, and I saw what I wanted, so I took it. <laughs> mm. Her husband, Raya, was a good man, and you took his wife, and also he was one of your top supporters, and you sent him to the battle and got him killed. All's fair in love and war. I'm the king, I know war, and I love to love love. Mm. How can I get through to you? Mm. King, hmm? it's a story time. <gasps> story time! Once upon a time, there was a two men in the town. One rich and another poor. The rich man had so many sheep, but the poor man had only one little lamb. He raised it and it grew up with him and his children. It shared his food, drank from his cup, and even slept in his arm. It was like a daughter to him. Now, a traveler came to the rich man, but the rich man refrained from taking one of his own sheep or cattle to prepare a meal for the traveler who had come to him. Instead, he took the ewe lamb that belonged to the poor man and prepared it for the one who had come to him. But hey, that's not fair. That rich guy has to pay back that poor guy like with like, Mm. Four times as many lambs or something? Oh, that rich man, he makes me so mad, you know? You know, I would, mm. I would, I would execute him. <sighs> yeah, that'll teach him a lesson. He didn't even feel bad, not even once. Newsflash, the story is about you. You are that rich man who doesn't even care. I should have seen that coming. King David, God gave you everything you needed. Still you wanted what you couldn't have it. You didn't appreciate the life what God gave to you. You only wanted to please your desire and yourself. You selfishly took a woman from her home and killed her husband. You let your craving get the best out of you and hurt the people along the way. Well, when you say it like that, it does sound kind of bad. It sounds bad no matter how you say it. God can't look past this and you have to pay a price for this. You took Uriah's family away from him and now the same thing must be done to you. No, oh, uh, so that mm. means I just gotta give a couple sheep, right? Ah, David, come with me. Walk with me. Yeah, it really suits you. I know. When I saw it, I just had to have it. Wow, I'm really happy for you. Honestly, God wants us to have beautiful things. We're too blessed. Right, when I saw it, I couldn't stop myself from buying it. Whew. Amen. You know, God wants us to treat ourselves sometimes, you know. Oh, and I did. I just saw it and that's it. I wanted not only it, but I wanted the whole store. The whole store? Yes, I bought 60 other handbags. I bought one in every color and even repeating colors because I can. You got the lilac one too? Absolutely. Nice, I'm so glad that you can afford all of these bags. God is good. Afford? Yes, you paid for these bags, right? Um, well, kind of. Uh, I don't get it. It's either you paid for these or you didn't pay for these. Well, the money didn't come from my bank account, but I put it on Pastor Sean's credit card. Ah, oh, okay, so he knows about this, right? Like, he's okay with all these purchases on his card? Well... Uh-oh. Yes, Pastor Sean, hi. Um, yes. Yes, 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 those purchases were real, yes. 
Yes, yeah, so 60 of them. Okay. Um, all of them? <sighs> okay, I understand. Yes, yes. So? Well, I might have to return the bags. Oh, well. It's okay. I mean, as long as you have the receipt. You receipt? <gasps> receipt? Oh no, I didn't think about that. I'm gonna have to go take a look through all of the dustbins. Okay, bye Vanessa. Dustbin? <laughs> okay. You know kids, our action will catch up to us sooner or later. There are consequences for choosing what we want over what God wants. When we choose ourselves and give in to our desire, we disconnect from the plan of God. Scary. Let's take a moment and say, God, Lord, your way, not my way. Kids, repeat after me. Lord, your way, not my way. Hey, you know who famously said that prayer? Jesus. Uh, you want me to go through with this? If it were up to me, I wouldn't. I know. I know my father. And I've known this was what you wanted for me since you sent me here. My life is not about me. It's not about what I want. But it is to do what you want. Not my will, but your will be done. So I'm going to choose what you want, not what I want. Because your way is best. Not my will, but your will be done. I think he is over there. Let's arrest him. I'm ready. Hey kids, we just saw Jesus right before he was arrested. You know what happened after he got arrested? He was taken away, he was beaten, he was made fun of, and he gave up his life and was crucified. It may sound sad, but you know, he did all of that because he was obeying God. The reason being now that anyone who believes in Jesus has a relationship with God and guess what, can live forever in eternity. Ah, isn't that so amazing? Thank you, Jesus. You know, Jesus said, not my will, but yours be done. He was talking to his dad, God in heaven. That's just a way of saying, God, I want to do what you want. Not my will, but yours be done. What God wants over what we want. And here are some examples of just that. Francisco, hmm? look, someone dropped their wallet on the floor. Ah, oh, easy money. You know uh, who it belongs to? No. Well, if no one's gonna claim it, maybe we should take it. No, we should not take it. Well, come on, Alan, it was just lying then. It is a blessing from God. <laughs> not my will. Let your will be done. Let us give this wallet to the owner. Okay, let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Uh, so, explain it again, Pastor Sarah. Someone stole your husband's credit card and bought 60 handbags? Mm -hmm. And sunglasses too. Okay, Pastor Sarah, I will write up a police report and the thief will be brought to justice. Oh, wait, wait. Not my will, but yours be done. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. gonna have to be honest, but it's really difficult. Honest about what? <sighs> no one stole the card. I went on a shopping spree and I bought 60 purses and now I have a big bill to pay and I can't find the receipts. Oh, I don't want to be stuck with the bill. Oh, well, I'm glad you're on. It saves me paperwork, chat. I've checked every dustbin and I can't find the receipt. Now I'm stuck with this huge bill. Pastor Sarah, do you know that usually they email you the receipt? Maybe check in your phone or your email. Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Oh, customer calls, thank you so much. Hey, you know what? Telling the truth really paid off, like, literally. Oh. It's okay. Not my will, but yours be done. Uh, Alan, do you need some help carrying this? Oh, thank you, Vanessa. Yeah. God sent you to help me. Oh, amen. Helping people is the right thing to do. After that snowstorm in April, aren't you so grateful for this nice weather? Yeah. Finally! Sis, so, 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 do you have any loose change? Um, 
Francisco. Anything? No, not no. Nothing sorry, at all. I'm sorry. Who is that? I, I don't know. Uh, Alan, I, I think God wants me to preach to that lady. Are you sure? Okay, go do it. Yeah, but like, what if she's like a mean person? What if she's, what if she's a little, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It'll get awkward. It's a man and a woman. I just. Mm. Wait, is God asking you to talk to her? I really think so. Then go and do it. God is backing you. No. Okay. Not my will, but yours be done. All right, Alan. I'm going. Good for you. Uh, silver and gold I might not have. Wow, you see in all of these situations, every person chose what God really wants for them. They made the right choice. You see, they could have stolen, they could have lied, they could have not helped, or even too shy to preach the gospel. What? What's that you say? It's too hard? Mm, you need to pray and ask God to help you make the right decisions every day so that God could give you a heart so that you can choose him first. Hey, that reminds me of a song. Come on, sing with me. garden this beautiful big white stone and it makes me think of a verse in Revelation 2 17 where it says he who has an ear let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying to the church to him who overcomes I will give him hidden manna and a white stone and on the white stone I will write a new name says the Lord a name that only he who receives it will know well, for this craft today, we're just gonna focus on the overcoming and the white stone. Kids, when we choose God's way over our way, we overcome. Like sometimes we really wanna do something, but then we know that God wants us to do something different and we choose to do what God wants. That means that we are overcomers. So every time we overcome the battles in our mind, every time we overcome our really strong emotions, Every time we overcome temptation, it makes us an overcomer. 
So how about today I was thinking we could use this really nice white stone and we can write something really cool on it about Jesus because Jesus is so cool. So I'm going to write a message, come along and watch, and then you can decide what you want to write on your white stone. So kids, look, I wrote, choose Jesus. And I was thinking, I'm gonna put this in a really special place, maybe in my room, and every day when I look at it and I see choose Jesus, it's gonna remind me to choose God's way, Jesus's way over my way, to be obedient. Because every time I do that, it makes him really happy and he's gonna give me all kinds of beautiful rewards. So take your stone and write, choose Jesus, and find a really special place to put it too. Okay, so children, remember, God's way is much, much better than your way. And when you trust him and are obedient, he rewards you. Remember kids, when you choose his way over your way, it makes God really happy and he rewards you. Hey kids, let's pray. Father, I thank you for all the children. I pray, Lord, that you would help them to choose your way over their way. Father, because your way is always the best. So Father, help the children to know what is the good thing to do that will make you smile and make you happy and their life will be the best ever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This episode was great and I know you loved it. So please go and share it with a friend or a family member. Make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel. We can't wait to see you until next time. Lots of love.